but you know, <laughs> a legit one. Let's just give him the best mayonnaise ever. But, hey, there you go. Um, then uh, Stephen Wright. I'd like to meet him. Uh, the dry comic. Uh, have you seen Saw Married an Axe Murderer? Yes. The guy flying the plane. He was flying the plane. He had a few little jokes in it, and it would be stuff like. Shoot, he's fond of paint. It's at night and there's a storm, and he's like, "Is this safe?" He's like, "You you would know his face." This is how he talks. He's like, "Oh yeah, sure. I do this all the time. Uh, I've never done it at night, you know that (laughs) kind of thing." And he's like, "What's that?" And he's like, "Oh, that's the artificial horizon. It's actually better than the real horizon, (laughs) you know, just stuff to make you not be confident in him flying." Steve Wright. Steven Wright. Steven Wright. Right. But he like falls asleep during the yeah, while they're during flying, the... and he wakes him up. And he's like, "Oh, I had this amazing he's, dream." He's one of those you know, people that, that we call those guys. <laughs> he's just one of those guys that a... shows up in movies, and like um, you would know his face, but my, maybe oh, not his name. See, there you yeah. go. He's one of those... <laughs> he has big hair. Yeah, is he still alive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my... yeah he, tweet, he, he, he he tweets on a regular basis. Only oh, like dead people, apparently. <laughs> I'm Shyamalan. He was a. He does the radio voice in uh, Reservoir Dogs. Uh, oh, he shows up all over the place. It's amazing where he will appear. Um, but what was that? Three. There's that three, three. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm starting to see. I'm gonna start running out now because like all the ones I like are dead. You can you can pick dead people. It's just <laughs> dead without a chance like, to oh. actually meet them. Well, actually though, I, this one I have met David Prowse. I actually like him. Oh, David Prowse. Um, you just this is terrible. You don't know who David Prowse is? I don't. Is. I, I, this is great. Am I going to know his name? The goal is to know one of Jeremiah's. <laughs> you know. And you, right now I'm over for 4. You'll know this guy. All right. What's his name? David Prowse. David Prowse. P-R-O-W-S-E. He should come right up. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 He the was, man behind the man. He was Vader? Yep. Uh. Okay. Okay. And I, I just recently watched a documentary where uh, this guy had uh, wanted just to do a documentary about him because he did all kinds of stuff in Britain. Like everybody knows who he is in Britain um, for something else. But because yeah. uh, apparently there was a big thing in the seventies in Britain where children were constantly running out in the street and getting run over. An <laughs> epidemic. Oh, yeah. so Dummies. they had, they made this huge <laughs> the like campaign of how to cross the street. <laughs> Look and both come, ways. Come, look. Yeah, and, Don't be an idiot. Yeah, Don't be a dummy. And he was the, the superhero that teaches you how to cross the street. <laughs> what, in the commercial? Captain yeah. Common Sense. Yeah. So Captain Crosswalk. He was that guy. Captain Crosswalk. It was, like, it was whatever their things are. It was like do, Mr. Do, Green. Do, do. Mr. Green Stop or Green Stop or Man or something. Green yeah. Stop. It's something crazy, right. yeah. Okay. But, um... So he would be one, but because he, he seems like he's really nice, and he kind of got screwed over. Is he still alive? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he got screwed over hard with uh, the whole Star Wars thing. He doesn't get any kind. He of... doesn't get to go to all the big conventions. They don't. They don't want him there because they still blame him for leaking script and stuff. Oh. Oh yeah, you told me this. Although there's documentation that he, he did not. He didn't do it. So the guy he's, that he's blacklisted. The, the man that supposedly he told it to. They interviewed him in this documentary. And he's like. It was one of the stage workers. He was like, it was one of the people that was. Uh, that's one thing that I, I would never do. If I had the opportunity to be involved in some kind of a project and they're like, you got to keep this secret, there would be no way yeah. that I would disclose information. No. But that somebody. I yeah. like to but work. But it was Star Wars, you know, so he got paid. And, but um, he's this really nice guy. I met him at uh, LexCon. Oh, you've met him? Yeah. Oh. Uh, 1994. Wow. I uh, brought all my Star Wars uh, Darth Vader stuff. Had him sign them. That's awesome. <laughs> and because uh, it was like you got two for free, and then it was like five dollars for each extra one. And I was like, I, I woke up with like an armful of stuff, you know. And, and I'm you like, just oh, slap like, a bunch of five dollar yeah. bills down. Yeah, and he's just like, oh wow, this is a good because you know he knows the toys and stuff. Yeah. So he's like, oh, well, let me make this a uh, little bit better for you. You know, like kind of joking. I nice. mean, like he says it as, a, as a joke, you know, like oh, here, let me help you out. Like, oh, yeah, because right. he knows he knew what I was doing when I brought all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, but um. His hand was huge, you know, just big, huge yeah. guy. And he could still get around pretty well. And how old was he then? Um, 
I'm not sure exactly. Now, he wasn't the guy in the suit, was he? Yeah, he, he was in the suit. But when they movies. take the thing off, it's somebody else. It's somebody else. So, so it's not his voice, and it's not his face. Nope. It's just all his workings. So what they did was this guy got together, shot the film, or the scene, with the reveal being his face, but he can't show it to anybody else. He There was only a small venue that... Um, they even like maybe a hundred other people were in there. So. It's like the um, it's like the original footage of Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah Eric Stoltz. Yep. Yeah, but uh, okay. Um, I think we talked about that last time we were here. <laughs> Did we on the, yeah. on the, on the show? Yeah, so. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> someone, Stoltz. someone that we can meet. Um, I don't know if anybody would would do it. And I thought about doing it. Is uh, Corey Feldman is oh. going to be in Asheville <laughs> doing his uh, Angels party. Oh no! Oh wow! At the uh, orange peel, we'll I have think. to bring in some more angels. And... <laughs> Corey's angels. Can, that's what they're called. Corey's can angels. Meet him. Yes. Have you ever watched his performance on like the Today Show? It was no. like a, from a back in October. Do that one day. Okay. Just uh, yeah. You know, check that check that out there. Okay. He got all depressed over it. And stuff. So you it's got funny. one more, right? Um, on that note. Yeah, I'm, I'm try- now I'm like, who can I say that Jay won't know? <laughs> it's not going to be difficult because you're four for four. Man, you know, I came up with all kinds of really good ones there. But um, I don't know that I have a fifth one right now. I'm just kind of... You say gotta that, pick I'd say somebody. That, I'd say that your, your fifth one could be. You can't, uh, do, you can't do sports people though. Right? Oh, you can do you anybody can. you want. I did. I Iron did a Robin. jockey. Iron Robin. <laughs> <Jake doesn't know. laughs> Iron Robin. A R J E N. A R J E N. And then R O B B E N. Oh, he's a, oh, okay. He's he's. I was like, is he a cricket player or something? Uh, a football a, player. He's a football player. He's uh, one of those. God. It's one of those football yeah. players. He's a winger. He's thirty three, and he's still like top three wingers on the planet and i love him because he everybody hates him <laughs> not to not to be off topic but f- let's be quiet for just one moment and see what we hear is that a mower that we hear wow look out the window it is pitch. legitimately pitch black it's dark now pitch black and yeah. we have someone outside mowing the yard keep that window open pitch back <laughs> black dark yeah, there's, a, there's a reflection, but yeah, pitch black. We're still gonna do. But no, I, I just like him because everybody loves to hate him, and you can't stop him. And everybody knows what he's gonna do, but you just can't stop him. LeBron James. But I've liked him ever since he first started. So he's about to leave, and I'm all sad. When when I was a kid, so Edgar Prado is 50 years old, and Dave Matthews is about to turn 52. Really? Uh-oh. Yeah, it's so depressing. It's sad because a lot of our, our heroes are oh. now entering. The fifty. Adam Sandler's yeah. fifty. We're going. Just don't don't talk about you know. it. Val Kilmer fifty seven. Gosh, they're going to start dropping on us, man. <laughs> uh, we have a little bit of time. Hopefully. Stallone and uh, Arnold. They're in their seventies. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. To think they about. will probably go in our lifetime. They, Jane, but yeah, yeah. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, um, Steve Martin will go. He's in the Dolly 70s. Parton's close to her seventies. Charlie Sheen's 70. Here's what we need Garrison to do. Keeler, 74. <laughs> Here's what we need to do. We need to take and see who we think is going to be the next one. The next big name to go. 